Open source tools are great because you don't have to pay any money to get complete access to the code base. And so a lot of people assume that open source equals free. The truth is the biggest cost in any implementation actually isn't just the cost of the tool itself. And in particular with open source tools, there's a huge hidden cost, which is your time. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a few different examples of this and some trade offs that you're making by going this route. So number one is the time it takes to set up an open source tool. A lot of the open source tools do have great documentation and instructions to get set up, but things don't always go as smoothly once you start trying to do it in your own local environment. You need to align it with everything else in your infrastructure. And there's often dependency or other things that come up and these different errors can become really frustrating and take more time than you initially anticipated to get it set up. And while this is expected, what ends up happening is developers often will go in circles trying to figure things out and get it right to work with their particular infrastructure. I know I'm definitely guilty of spending way too much time trying to get something like this set up. So one thing to remember here is while the tool itself may be free, that developer's time is not. There's a very real cost to that. So before you go ahead and decide to implement an open source tool, make sure you have the proper skill set and you're prepared to take this on because this setup process can either going to be a great overall experience and a fun one for the developer or an absolute disaster and a huge headache. The next cost of your time is the time to support. So as developers, we take a lot of pride in building things and maintaining it. I mean, that's probably one of the most fun and rewarding parts of the job. But the truth is, if we build it and we're building it from scratch, we need to also maintain it. So when something breaks or is wrong with the code, it's on us. And now we're not just talking about the logic, the business logic, but the hosting and the setup as well. So some examples here of support would be the time for troubleshooting, time to integrate it with the rest of your stack and customizing how that all looks and onboarding new team members. If it's open source, there's probably some dependencies. And if it's something that's local, you need to make sure everybody has it. So if you are thinking about open source, make sure you're being very deliberate with your design. You have great documentation and you have a long term thinking with this implementation. There's going to be ways that you can shortcut things, but a short sighted decision today is something that could cost you significant money and time in the long run. So just make sure these are things you're thinking through before you make that leap. So the third cost of your time here is the time to optimize. And in this sense, it's more about your setup and design as opposed to necessarily troubleshooting. And the thing to be really honest with yourself about here is, is what you built really, is it a customized solution or is it something that you just hacked together? Because there is a difference here in terms of the sustainability of what you built. Most tools and softwares, they'll have a sort of a best practice for how you build something. And if you pay for a closed source tool, sometimes those are already set up for you. And specifically with the infrastructure in terms of how you're hosting it, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about upgrades or making sure certain things are set the right way. But when it comes to an open source or self-hosted version, that's all on you. It's your responsibility to make sure that you've done things the right way, that you have certain security measures in place and everything is set according to a best practice. But again, remember here that every hour you spend trying to refactor or perfect this type of setup is an hour not spent building a new feature for your stakeholders. Now to bring it all home here, I do want to say that open source tools do have amazing value when they're used correctly and you have the right team and the infrastructure in place. And for the record, I'm a huge fan of these tools and I often recommend them and I would encourage you to check them out. But I just want you to be mindful and be aware not to assume that open source equals free. Always be mindful of those hidden costs of your time and in particular, your time to set up, your time to support and your time to optimize. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you at the next one.